Hello and welcome back. This is my second attempt at a YouTube video and again I'm going to be talking about By Hand and I, the treasured book by Tolpin and Walker. Uh, absolute brilliant book that I'm working my way through and uh, I was talking to a fellow on Lumberjocks and he was a little bit confused about the picture on page 32. And if you look on page 32, this is pretty much what they give you. It is making a square and dividing it up so you can get your ratios of a square and a quarter and a square and a third. So what we have here is at C, this distance would be one quarter. So you can do your square and a quarter. And at B, this distance to this edge is a square and a third. And indeed, if we check that out, that is a square and a third. If we go this way, or a circle and a third if you want. And we can see that that divides that up into thirds quite nicely. The problem is, it's a little bit inelegant, is in that you have to take this point here, this distance, and transfer it from the focal point this way to get the focal point for your next circle to get your square and a third. And that would have come around there to get that distance. And I thought it was a little bit inelegant and could be done quite a bit easier. So what I have done is I've rearranged it like this. Much less lines, much less confusing. This diagonal right here, from here to here, gives you point C, which is bisecting this line, which gives you your square and one quarter. And this line here, instead of drawing this diagonal, we draw this diagonal, and that gives you your one third measurement from the focal point. Again, it's still one third, but you see it doesn't have anything to do with the focal point. If you take it from here to here, that gives you your focal point for the circle. That is one and one third. So now you have it in a spot that is more conducive to actually getting the job done. Just get it on there. Strike our arc. that is a square and a third. A little bit more easier to accomplish that way I find and a little bit less confusion in drawing up the lines and basic geometry that you learned in public school and thought you'd never use it again in your life so you forgot about it. So until next time thank you very much for dropping in.